Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have about 10-15 minutes before my dinner gets delivered. So I figured I would come in do this reading on Jordan Woods because everybody's been asking, you know, like what is her relationship like with Kylie? Um, are they ever going to be friends again? You know, how does Kylie feel about Jordan and vice versa? And what is ahead for Jordan? So we are going to go take a look at that. Is she still doing the OnlyFans thing? I just remember everybody was like posting about it and then it just disappeared. So, and I know she's in a boyfriend, a uh, boyfriend, in a relationship with a basketball player too now. So let's see. Spirit, please join us in answer any questions that we have in regards to Jordan Woods, Kylie Jenner. How do they feel about each other? Will they ever be friends again? And any other messages that we have about Jordan? Thank you for joining us. We ask only with the intention and purpose of clarity, not with any bad intent. And I'm also going to do a reading on, you know, Black Chain and Rob and what are they up to and everything, too. I was making a joke a while back that, you know, after the Kardashians fell out with Larson, they've fallen out with a stylist, a makeup artist, Jordan and Larson, and a bunch of other people. You know, I'm like, we should just go through the line and be like, who are they going to fall out with next and do readings on that? So, <sighs> would you guys actually watch a, radio, a video on Jonathan Chubbin? Because, or Chabon, or however you say his name. Because he's just always there. But I always just feel like there's something weird about him. But I'm not going to do a whole reading on him if nobody wants to watch it. So let me know. Alrighty. Okay, um, you know, I feel like with these cards, it's almost like there was self-sabotage in her getting involved with Tristan, and we'll ask the question more about all of that, but I feel like there was like this self-sabotage, because here's Kylie, and it's like, she was pr like trying to put distance between them. And what Spirit is saying is like she didn't, she had been feeling like she wanted to separate herself from her in the sense of that she almost felt like she didn't get me shine as long as she was, you know, kind of in Kylie's shadow. And when she would say certain things like, I want to go do this or I want to go do that. It would be like, oh, but Jordan, you can't do that because on Thursday we're wearing pink spandex and taking pictures next to the pool with Stormy. So I'm going to need you to cancel that audition that you had because this is what we're doing. And so, you know, it was just like, what can I do to get myself out of this situation? She didn't know. And of course, you know, here's this two of swords with this three of swords getting herself into what has become you know the tower situation that we all saw play out she still like looks at it like I can't believe that they're sitting there running back to go be cool with um what's his face Tristan you know when it's like um hello like why did I get shoved to the side he's the one that did it so even though she got herself into it, it's almost like she didn't, she wasn't thinking. She was just subconsciously acting and it was sabotage, like I said. And then it was like, I didn't think the thought was going to be this bad. I didn't think that I was going to get stomped on. But it's like, Jordan, you've seen this happen to other people. Like, why were you not? So let's see. Spirit, how does 
Kylie Jenner feel about Jordan Woods right now? And it's so funny that somebody was like asking me to do a reading on this because the other day I saw, um, I think it was posted in the context of like, you know, your zodiac sign reacting to something and it was some clip of Kylie telling Chloe that, you know, she was happy to move on with her life without Jordan or something like that. And I was wondering, like, I wonder if she, like, sneaks and talks to her or if they will ever be friends again, you know, after all of this. And then literally that same day, somebody asked me to do a reading on it. So I have been planning it. I've just been catching up on stuff. Three, four, five. Have to do a Zoom meeting with my kid's teacher after we eat. It's fun. Still don't know, does he have the same teacher? Are they changing teachers? What the hell is going on? So, that's well, exciting. Hopefully we get that straightened out tonight. Alrighty. And my heart goes out to any, any parent who has to go through this whole distance learning thing, because it has not been easy. Alrighty, so. She's actually feeling like maybe Jordan was using her or shady like all along. Um, Cause here Jordan showing up once again is this queen of swords and we have the eight of wands, the moon card and the queen of swords. Kylie really felt like, damn, I didn't know you. Like maybe you were plotting to do bad things about us the whole time. Maybe you never actually were my friend. She actually took it seriously. Um, with the fool, the hangman, and the page of wands in this world card, it's talking about, you know, her obviously having to face the facts of who Jordan might actually be. And again, you guys, I'm not saying she's right or wrong. This is Kylie's feelings and perspective. So she's actually, you know, feeling like <laughs> all this time, you know, you were somebody else. And now I have to sit here and face the facts that you're shady. Like it came out. So, I mean, it's Kylie was very, very upset. Also, let's see. She was afraid that Jordan was going to come after Travis or that, like, she had in the past or something like that. Because it's talking about with this double card, the King of Swords and the Queen of Coins, her feeling like she had to protect, like, her relationship with Travis he might have told her that like something happened you guys like oh she always tries to talk to me or she was texting me because I feel like there was something there with that but we'll ask in a minute um spirit how does Jordan Woods feel about Kylie Jenner right now? how does Jordan Woods feel that's the thing I'm like I wish like god man can you imagine if like Kanye came out with like some creative project and he just got together all the people that the Kardashians had fucked over to like tell their stories in some documentary <laughs> cause I could actually see Kanye doing some shit like that and releasing a whole album like that would be Kanye's visual album that we would get a la Beyonce's Lemonade but it would be like What is that stuff that they put in your ass sculpture instead of lemonade? Botox. I can imagine Kanye just calling the documentary Botox. <laughs> Man, if we can all manifest this, it would be amazing. I mean, don't forget, he put Taylor Swift's naked wax figure in... The famous video you know so it's like it wouldn't really be on be beyond the scope of something that Kanye Moyder might do 
And Amber Rose will be sitting there like, thank God all I got was 808s on her Like, damn. <laughs> See, Kim was all excited to be a part of that video and thought it was the greatest thing ever. But when it comes back to her, she's going to be running, freaking out, screaming, Mom, where's the end days? <laughs> Where's the damn jars? Did you break them? <laughs> Why is it soul escaping again? <laughs> okay, so. I mean, the cheating card does keep coming up, so we're definitely going to have to ask about that because she, looking back, feels like you guys would have cut me off for anything. You know? And it is like, how come... I'm the one that got all the heat when there was another person that was involved in this. Because she really does feel like, you know, I'm not the only person that was involved here. But now, moving forwards, she's got her man. She feels like, you know, she's happy that she has a happier life. She feels like she sees through them too, to be honest with you. It is really funny how she feels like, because see, Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups, and then the Six of Wands, she really feels like they lied. They tried to manipulate everything to look good, but I'm the one who's actually winning because I found a happier life without you. And so, it, what's that? Oh, my food finally got picked up and is coming here. So we might have to do a part two to the video. <laughs> All right. Jenner and Jordan Woods ever be friends again? Yes, yeah, you know. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. And Spirit saying Jordan would never want to go back and be friends with her again. Like, she would be cool with her, but she would never want to be friends with her again after everything that's happened. Like, the way that they were. I feel like they've talked here and there, but then I just feel like they both just fall off from each other and they're both really focused on their own lives separately from each other, her and Kylie. Spirit, how does she feel about... Spirit, how does Jordan feel about Tristan and Chloe being back together? Thank you, Spirit. I think they're <laughs> Um, She just feels like Chloe's stupid and she keeps going back and locking herself into something that's not going to work. I mean, again, she feels like Tristan's going to do some shit. The marriage card's coming up, though, so she does think that they are going to end up getting married, but that, you know, Tristan's going to cheat again and shit's going to fall apart again. So, anyways, guys, I got it in that here because they're calling me to get into the gate. I guess he's lost. So, I love you all so much. If you want to book your own personal private reading with me, all my information will be in the description box below. You can use code BARBIE, all in caps, to get 25% off your reading. So, thanks, guys, and I will come back for a part two.